Okay, this is the Algebra 2 practice test, question number 62. And it says, the volume of a cylinder with a radius of r centimeters and a height that is 3 centimeters shorter than the radius is represented by the function v of t. And as you can see, there it is. What is the range of v of t in this situation? Well, first of all, this problem is talking about volume. But when you read this problem, don't think about it too much, or otherwise you're going to get into a debate with yourself for the next two hours of, you know, height and radius. Because as we go through the problem, you'll see that the problem doesn't actually make sense in the real world. But I'm sure in your math classes, you've always been told, if you're given a formula, graph it. So let's start by graphing it. And as you can see, I've got the formula already entered into the calculator under the Y screen. So let's just graph it and see what it looks like. And as you can see, we get a curve. Well, I don't know about you, but that curve doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I'm going to go a different route and I'm going to try to think about sizes and shapes. Well, I know with sizes and shapes, especially with volume of circular things, there is such a thing as a radius. Well, I know that if a radius, it's got to be something, and I can't have a negative radius. I can't have a shape that folds in on itself and gets smaller than zero. So my first thought is, what if my radius was zero? So I'm basically asking, what if r is zero? Because that's the smallest shape I can possibly get. Well, if I do that and I plug in zero, I'll notice I'll get pi zero squared times zero minus three. Well, this works out to be zero pi times zero times negative three. And we all know that when we multiply anything by zero, we get zero. So that tells us that it must be everything must be bigger than zero. So we're looking at all real numbers greater than zero. So like I said on this problem, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in real life. But if you just think about it, what's the smallest thing I can get, which is zero for a shape? This problem is actually pretty easy to work out. So good luck.